My name is Nikhil Vergis. Um, I am a Clinical Research Fellow um, and PhD student at Imperial College, but I'm also a, a trainee specialist registrar in liver medicine at St Mary's Hospital. When you finish medical school, you go into general medical training, um, and um, I was struck by a case on the ward um, where a patient with cirrhosis of the liver who'd come in with because he'd fractured his leg um, died incredibly quickly from infection. Um, and really since then, uh, since my first year as a doctor, I have been um, amazed at the power of infection on patients with liver disease. And I've been trying to find out why that's the case. We have looked at the way the immune cell, the monocyte, which is a type of white blood cell, its, its numbers, its frequency, and whether it's producing inflammatory cytokines or not, um, and also were able, as a result of a large multicenter clinical trial of prednisolone, were able to compare the effects of the drug prednisolone to patients who were not treated with that drug to see what effect that the drug was having on the monocyte number and function. Prednisolone currently in the UK um, is widely regarded as the first line treatment for the condition of alcoholic hepatitis. Alcoholic hepatitis is a condition which is the most florid, florid condition of alcoholic liver disease which develops after heavy alcohol drinking and shows itself in the form of jaundice. The mortality rate at the end of 30 days in this condition is a staggering 30% um, and at the end of the year half the patients with, with this condition will have died. Um, so it's a particularly important condition and it affects young people. 48 is the median age of death. And so um, prednisolone is used to treat the inflammation in the liver. So we think that the liver is inflamed, which is why we call it a hepatitis. Um, and the steroid is there as an anti-inflammatory agent in order to reduce the um, inflammation in the liver, improve liver function and improve survival. So we feel that the dual problems of inflammation and susceptibility to infection um, are both dealt with by the innate immune system, of which a key player is the monocyte. Um, and um, in the situation of giving patients prednisolone, in the, which is what we do in the UK, although there was a benefit in, in, in survival at 28 days, that benefit was not sustained. And looking at the data more closely, it looks like those patients who were benefiting from steroids in the first 30 days then developed infection later on. Um, and, so we are, and so the monocyte is a cell that's both involved in inflammation in the liver, but also might increase your susceptibility to infection. And so we can compare the effect of the steroid treatment on both uh, on the monocytes and people who had the steroid and people who didn't have the steroid. So our findings in these two groups were that the patients that were treated with prednisolone had fewer numbers of the inflammatory intermediate monocyte subset um, and that that monocyte subset was deactivated and that that monocyte subset also expressed before treatment higher amounts of the chemokine receptor CCR5. So we wonder whether in future we can develop a drug that might be able to block CCR5 and in so doing reduce the inflammation within the liver without the associated side effects that prednisolone has in terms of causing infection or allowing infection elsewhere in the body because it is not doing a broad sweep um, depression of your immune function. Our conclusion is that we can perhaps use CCR5 blockers to selectively target the monocyte subset that may be inducing the inflammation in the liver, if you like, as an immunological silver bullet. So we target the um, migration into the liver of these inflammatory cells, but don't affect the rest of the immune system and don't increase susceptibility to infection. So in terms of what this study means for the future, um, given that before the treatment there was a, an expanded population of this monocyte subset, and it was activated and producing more inflammatory cytokines, we hypothesize that this cell group may have the potential to go into the liver and cause inflammatory damage. We therefore think that by blocking uh, CCR5 um, in, the, in the form of future trials, both preclinical and clinical, we might be able to prevent the migration of monocytes into the liver using CCR5, hence reduce the inflammation within the liver, but at the same time, protecting the rest of the immune system from the hazardous deactivating effects of, of broad-spectrum prednisolone therapy.